Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. And in case you're new here, I'm Mary. And here on YouTube, I like to share the many projects I have going on around here with you all. In today's video, I'll be showing you a piece that I painted about a month ago and I was looking for a desk, maybe even a secretary desk, and I put myself on a Facebook marketplace challenge, you could say. I thought one day I'm going to go on there and I'm going to find a piece of furniture and go get it and maybe even paint it that day. And that's basically what I did. I got MB to go with me and together we drove about a half hour from here. Uh, for this little piece of furniture. I thought it was so cute in the pictures and I was not disappointed. Um, I really like the piece. Uh, everything is working in on it. It has a cute flip out desk and thankfully the drawers slide easily. That's sometimes a problem with furniture. When I saw it on Marketplace, I thought maybe this would be a potential desk that I wanna use in one of the cottages that we're building and maybe have a little media center or something like that, which I do want to do that. I like the idea of having a space where people could, you know, bring their laptops along. If I go on vacation, I usually do that. I have some work I need to do. So it's always nice to have a space where I can sit, you know, to do that. Of course, a table or an island will work too, but I wanted a separate little space for that. So we'll see, even at this point, you know, after having the piece finished, I'm not quite sure, is it going to look right in the space that I want to put it in, but we'll find out. I started out by, of course, you know, cleaning the piece. I used crud cutter like I normally do. Um, that's a really good product to use to kind of prep your surfaces for paint. I uh, took all the hardware off. I plan to paint that too. I kind of like the design of it. I'm planning on, of course, using my paint sprayer to paint this piece. And I, of course, need to, you know, thin my paint down for my sprayer. And I often like to thin it to around a thick milk consistency. Sometimes you have to play around with it to see if it uh, is going through nicely before, you know, adding more water. But it's often easier, of course, to just not add too much water to begin with. You can always add more, but you can't really take it away. This video will be a little different from my usual. I'm going to do this in real time. I get so many questions, you know, how long does it take you to paint a piece of furniture? And this is just a small piece. I thought it wouldn't be too tedious to watch the whole thing. But if you are like me, kind of impatient, feel free to skip over this part. But this is where I'm actually painting it in real time.
And in case you were following along, this took around 6 minutes and 45 seconds to paint this piece. I had a few seconds there where I petted Socks, that's my sister's cat. Uh, she came wandering in here, so I couldn't just ignore her. Not too bad, right? I imagine if I would have painted it with a brush or a roller, it would have taken longer. Plus, I probably would have needed to do two coats. I always feel painting furniture with a sprayer helps to just do you know, one coat. Sometimes I'll do two, but for this piece I didn't need to. I knew this piece needed something a bit more, some sort of character and I opted to go with, once again, using one of those furniture or decor transfers. I've used them before here in my videos. I've talked about uh, the Etsy shop where I get them at. It's called Patterson Art Studio. I'll link that down below in the description box in case you're looking for some like this, but I was really impressed by this transfer. Um, it's one of those where you just kind of cut everything apart and you can arrange the twigs and the birds and the leaves however you want to on your surface. So much fun.
hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. I wonder what you guys would think. Should I use the desk in one of the cottages? I would of course maybe use it in Sparrow's Nest. That's going to be the name of the one cottage. I thought it would be kind of fitting with the birds, but again, I'll just have to see how it looks in the space. Um, it's kind of hard to tell. I'm a visual person, like I actually need to see it there before I decide. And I want everything to be kind of you know, near perfect in there. So I can always sell this piece if I don't want to use it in the cottages and just put something else there. Because I think a little table or a, an open desk would be cute too. So we'll see, I'll keep you guys updated. And I do post some more cottage things on Instagram these days. So make sure to follow me there if you're at all uh, wanting to you know, know more of this cottage process. As always, I hope your day is going great. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.